Breast cancer runs in my family. My mother. My grandmother. My dad's sisters. In the beginning, there was Myriad. Their biotech wizardry would save women's lives all around the world. With effective medical options. To be ready. Be ready. Be, be ready, ready against, against cancer, cancer now. I think the single greatest inventive thing I did was to create Myriad. Others saw it differently. A medical mercenary price gouging the sick and vulnerable. Do you think they're being greedy? Yes. It was all to do with gene patents. It's big business and you're paying for it. In Australia, we've had experience of uh, patent enforcement, which has increased the cost of a test tenfold. Now the fight is on to break the back of the gene cartels. One of the greatest frauds perpetrated on the public has been the idea that you could get a patent on an isolated gene. Tonight on Four Corners, Body Corporate, the high-stakes battle over who owns your genes. Seven years ago, Melbourne-based businessman Mervyn Jacobson was a man on a mission. His company, Genetic Technologies, had a swag of medical gene patents. Investors in Australia, and more importantly, in America, were keen to do business. The opportunities we have are very broad and they're very global, and they can't be fully valued just by a company listed on the Australian market alone. Venture capitalists paved the way for meetings at the top end of town. Good luck. Good luck. The biotech industry is not for the faint-hearted. Many investment proposals have come unstuck. For Mervyn Jacobson, there have been successes. Genetic Technologies was eventually listed on the prestigious NASDAQ Stock Exchange. But now the company is embroiled in a legal stoush over ownership of human genes. So just why has the dream soured? Times Square, New York, is as good a place as any to witness the whirlpool of human DNA. <laughs> In the melting pot of America, virtually every shape, size and colour you care to imagine is on display. <laughs> I'm famous now. Every person here tonight possesses at least 20,000 genes. They determine everything about our makeup, hair color, eye color, and more importantly, our susceptibility to disease. But what few probably realize is that drug and biotech companies own about 4,000 or 20% of those genes. Why? <laughs> because that's the law. For the past 20 years, it's been perfectly legal to patent, to own the genes that occur naturally in your body. Well, it was until recently. <laughs> 